angel music as he enters heaven. That's right. Um, it's so okay, nice. we are starting the live stream. Welcome to the birthday bash. Go, go ahead, Tammy. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Tammy. And um, I, I think it's, it's very appropriate that we're starting with harp music because uh, one of the things that I want to do before we start with our um, party festivities is I want to acknowledge and give a tribute to my brother, uh, brother Bob and um, it turns out that he passed away exactly a year ago um, today. Uh, I found out about it in the evening last year and I want to um, just acknowledge him. And uh, I'm gonna show uh, some uh, pictures of my brother. Um, here we go. Can you um, say something about him? Yes, I will. Um, let me know if you can see this. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, you can? Yes. yes. Okay, great. So my brother was eight and a half years older than me. And so uh, this, this is a picture of him with his wife. Uh, they were in Egypt. Uh, looking at um, hier hieroglyphics there. And um, so my brother um, was kind of like a protector for, for me. And um, when we were growing up, the neighborhood was not the, uh, the easiest in the world. And uh, it, this was in upper Manhattan, uh, New York City. And uh, he, um, if there was a problem, he would protect me and, 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 but mostly we had a lot of uh, 
wonderful times in the uh, parks that were near us, Fort Tryon Park and Inwood Hill Park. Here's another picture of him um, with his wife, uh, Myrna, and the two of them uh, were visiting in Israel. So this is actually a picture in Israel. They love to travel. And in fact, they loved traveling so much that they decided to uh, devote their life to it. And they even started a, a travel um, show on, on television and radio. And they made it into a game show. So contestants would guess things about uh, geography and different parts of the world. And they, um, they made it into a game show. And I got to uh, collaborate with, with them on that in the 90s, uh, playing piano um, when they started their show. Like I played the theme for the show. And, um, and I uh, um, helped to edit some of the uh, show when they had a radio show in my recording studio. That's another picture where um, they were at a, a glacier in um, Alaska. And here's a, a picture of Bob, Brother Bob, uh, just in New York City. And um, so anyway, I just want to make that little tribute to my brother. Um, and um, I just, you know, we had so many good times together and and near the end, you know, he was he was going strong. Uh, even near the end, he had amyloidos, amyloidosis, amyloidosis, uh, which is a heart condition. Uh, but even uh, right up to the end, he was uh, writing his memoirs and writing a, a novel and, and all of this. So anyway, thank you, Brother Bob. Um, Thanks for uh, sharing him with us, uh, Rick. Yes, and I, I just wanted to dedicate our time together today to, to that. Um, I don't know if you want to, um, uh, well, anyway, so, so that's, uh, that's about it for my brother. But while we're talking about uh, tributes, I also want to make a tribute to uh, our dear friend, Avon Madison. And um, I, I'll share my screen here. Um, and do you think, Tammy, you could play a little something for, for um, Avon? Absolutely, yeah. So I'm gonna share my screen. This is Tammy Briggs, 
just so everyone knows. Thank you, Tammy. And, you know, um, we all mourn the loss of our dear friend and colleague, uh, Avon Madison, who is the founder of Pathways to Peace. Um, and she was responsible for the creation of the International Day of Peace. So um, I wanted to um, just read something uh, that our friend, um, Ambassador Anwil Chowdhury wrote about her. Um, he said, um, humanity lost a great soul dedicated to promoting the cause of peace to all corners of our planet. We will miss Avon and her valiant spirit inspiring us for so many years in so many ways. May her noble soul rest in eternal peace. And Ambassador Chowdhury was former Under Secretary General and High Representative uh, at the United Nations. Um, Tammy, did you want to say about your experience um, with um, Avon? Yeah, so um, the first time she ever heard me play, I played a song called Peace Blessing, which is not something that I have shared with this group tonight, um, but it's a really beautiful song. And after I finished it, she didn't want to interrupt our meeting. And so she said, please, um, Tammy, I will call you later because I want to tell you what happened when you played that song. So after we got off the Zoom, pretty soon my phone rang and sure enough, it was Avon. I really thought, oh, I'm, I'm nobody. She's never going to call me. Oh, but yes, she did. And um, what she said was when I played Peace Blessing, her vision that she had was this column of gold light that came down and then it was like a, a portal that <clears throat> interspersed out with um, energetic vibrations that connected the past, present, and future of all of humanity. And, and then she went on to say that this, the, the vibrations that she had experienced in this were part of what she had envisioned when she was almost four, when she had her vision of complete interconnectedness of the world. And um, I have to say, I was, I was deeply touched, but also like, oh my gosh, this woman, got she got what I'm about and um yeah just very I just felt like there was a very significant bond that started from that moment and that was on March 26th of this year and so I only you know I only really knew her from for a very short time but I just feel so blessed and grateful to have um just touched, touched, our, that our paths touched. And I, I will be forever grateful for Pathways to Peace and Tezekiah and David Wick and Joni for, you know, plugging me in and just, yeah, so very, very special lady and will definitely be missed. Um, I miss her terribly, actually. I just Yes, and we all, we all miss her terribly. And she just passed a few days ago. So that's why I wanted to honor her and really dedicate this, um, this uh, gathering that we have now to both my brother and to a Avon. And um, Dr. Marty Casey, uh, would you like to say something? And then we're gonna try some, a, a very special uh, idea. So I'm going to... Well, absolutely. Well, you. well, first of all, Rick, I want to say to you, happy birthday. It is such an honor and a pleasure to be joining you this evening uh, with your, your friends and those who love you. We just really, really adore you, Rick. Just like earlier today when we were uh, talking about Avon and, and uh, we have 
um, we've crowned her as godmother of peace. I have to say you are definitely the godfather of connections. You in collaborations, it's always a we thing with you. And so uh, although I cannot stay, I, I definitely was not gonna miss this moment, Rick, because when you call on me, uh, it is always so intentional and from the heart that I'm going to always do my best to take time out to be here with you because you have shown up for so many people. And so we honor you on today and we thank you for sharing your day um, in, in, in the memory of your brother, Bob and, and Avon, our godmother of peace. Uh, but do remember that it's all about self-care, Rick. So this day is also for you. So make thank sure you. you enjoy your moment. Can, can you want to try what we were, what well, we tried? I'm here for it. That's why I went and put on my pink scarf. Fumi said earlier that Avon was all about her turquoise uh, dresses and, and a pink scarf. So I put this pink scarf on so we can try this. Okay. We're going to actually try to do something. And, and I think you'll recognize what we're going to try, even though it's, it's, um, it's not a rhythmic thing, but you'll see. So here we go and see, see if you can see the keyboard and everything. You're freezing a little bit. Did you get different? No, um, I hope it's... When soon as you started moving, you, you started freezing. Did you turn yes. something on? Yes, Rick definitely uh, oh, That's probably... Yeah. How is it now? Hey, Rick, do you have original sound oh, on? Please. No, I have it off. Oh, turn it on. Yeah, we tried it before. Uh, maybe it's because of. Um, how's that? Awesome. The sound. Hey, Rick, turn your video off. And try, let's try it again. Turn your video off and let's start it again because that could improve the audio. Maybe that's, maybe that's. Your volunteer tech host here. Thank God we have a tech director. Yeah. Okay, we'll go try it again. Amazing grace. We the sound that say a wretch like me Thank you. Thank you. Probably not enough bandwidth here for the for Zoom. <laughs> um, Rick. The yes. good news is, Rick, um, if the creator and those who we give honor to allows us to come to be together one day, you and I will perform that song side by side in person. 
So if exactly. we anything else, hopefully we have given them just a little bit of a taste of what we can do once the world opens back up again. And I hope that they know that they are invited front row since they put up with it tonight. <laughs> where, are you where are you located? That was beautiful. Where are you? Thank you, Lanny. I am actually in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Okay. Yeah. But wherever Rick is and playing like that, it is worth me flying in. <laughs> well, I think yeah. we should all chip in and get uh, Rick better internet connection. What do you think? <laughs> I mean, make this a fundraiser. We, uh, we, we, Rick and I may end up in St. Louis next year uh, as part of the We, we Tour. So um, we'll tell you more about that. Well, we welcome you, Pookie and I. Pookie Lee, I believe she's on here. Let me see, because uh, we're I'm on. Uh, let me go back to gallery. Yes, Pookie Lee and I. Pookie is my sister, and I've come to know about Unity Earth because of Pookie, and I've connected this. We're all family now, and so we welcome you uh, in advance to come to St. Louis. We would love to show you around Ferguson and around our state, and um, and then again, we're gonna get to a piano, Rick. So you Absolutely. and I can. To record that in person. Thank you that so much. That sounds good to me. So I do have to go, but I want to leave with this here, and I don't need you to play because I think I know this song by myself. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Thank you. That was beautiful. Thank, thank you. And Rick, you asked me about putting together a short poem. Yes, but wait, 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 wait. There's one, one more important thing that sure. I want to share. Uh, but I have to highlight. Um, <laughs> this person here and I'm going to highlight myself because <laughs> I also want to dedicate today's party to my other half, Seppi. Uh, wonderful. Thank you, Seppi, for being and putting up with me for all these years, we're going on our 12th year um, with all of the different things going on. And I have a special song that I want to play for you. But Rick, we've also put up with you. <laughs> <laughs> that is Longer true. than I have, actually. <laughs> and that's right. Longer. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to, I'm going to put... Um, in the chat, this is a song by Stevie Wonder. And I'm going to put some of the selected lyrics in, in the chat uh, for this song that I, I picked out for you, Stephanie. And um, uh, let's see, uh, I'm just trying to. Uh, Karen, um, if you can. Pull uh, people in who might be uh, in the uh, uh, attendee list and pull them into the, as panelists. That would be great. So anyway, so this song, I'm going to say some of the uh, lyrics and then I'm going to play it. Um, it's called You and I. I think you may want to mute some people. OK. Uh, yeah, well, if anybody's not um, talking to the public, please keep yourself muted. But um, it's called You and I by Stevie Wonder. Here, here we are on earth together. It's you and I. I am glad at least in my life I found someone to see me through um, and I found strength in you. Well, in my mind, we can conquer the world in love. You and I, you and I. Um, uh, you, in my mind, you will stay here always in love. You and I, you and I, you and I, you and I. Okay, I'm going to play it now.
You're welcome, sweetie. Wow, Rick. Put that one on our list, Rick. I used to sing that song at everybody's wedding. Really? Yes. The first time I ever heard that song sang was on um, Good Times. Anybody remember the show Good Times? They used to come on. Well, okay. Michael, the little brother, sang that song on an episode of Good Times. And that's and everybody wanted that song at their wedding. So yeah, I know that one, Rick. We're going to sing that one, too. So far, we got two songs for the concert. <laughs> well, 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 thanks for stay, sticking around to hear that. Wow. Thank you. So, so Rick, I mentioned that I had a po poem. OK. This is um, called Not Enough Time. There is not enough time to think of a rhyme. <laughs> so since I couldn't uh, come up with a poem, here's a short prose piece called Emptiness. OK, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spotlight you so people can see your poem. The most common thing in the world is the vacuum which makes up most of space. It is totally empty. Nothing is there. Another way of saying this is no thing or zilch. We have reached total weightlessness. There is no way to measure or see it. It is, in fact, invisible with no visible form. And yet it forms most of space. So we can say it is quite spacious, unless we take a very small bit of it, and then it is not very spacious. The peculiar thing is that most things we see or touch are primarily comprised of this nothingness, made up of atoms with protons, neutrons, and electrons, and lots of empty space between them. So what we are really dealing with seems a bit of a paradox. These words, which are describing this emptiness, seem to be full of meaning. But is this just another paradox? Are these words full of meaning or empty of meaning? Go back to this. And another deep question arises. As our lives are brief lips in the vastness of time, the emptiness of eternity, are we also merely vac vacuous events in the vast cosmos which surrounds us. All right. Thank I you. I puts things in perspective. It sure <laughs> does. <laughs> it sure does. Thank you, Jerry. And it's been great hanging out with you over the years. Thank uh, Jerry, you. Jerry Spivak used to work at Bell Labs um, and uh, has a lot of great stories about all of those times. And spending a little time with them and some very other people. Yep. Um, so um, we're going to try something interesting. Uh, well, first of all, is, is there anyone else who wants to share a little, um, uh, say something or share some uh, music? Uh, let me look on um, the screen Kermit here. Kermit Frog would like to say hello. Oh, wow. Because, uh, yeah, Rick is the fan club president of New York City. And um, hello there, uh, other me. Yes. <laughs> Kermit it's is perfect to celebrate our, to our birthdays together. Hmm. Rick is, you're a wonderful Kermit fan. The way you have me on your uh, bookshelf is really quite amazing on all those calls and I'm, I'm honored i'm really honored and uh happy birthday to you rick <laughs> thank you kermit i really appreciate that kermit and you do de definitely get around kermit <laughs> yes i remember when i first saw your kermit on your bookshelf rick i thought that was the greatest thing and i went out and bought myself a fancy kermit and uh, said, I got to be like Rick. And, uh, <laughs> that's my, my attempt to be like Rick. <laughs> that's great. That's great. So um, in a few minutes, we're going to do uh, something like a uh, sort of like a crowdsourced um, song. It, we call it the three note challenge. Oh. Um, 
and um, so and we're you know it's it's also to help support we the world um, but um, but before we do that I just want to put that out there as a as a, uh, a tantalizer so in, in, in about five minutes we're going to do that but before we do that. Um, I think we have time for a, a song, um, another song. Um, would you like to share a, a song, L Lanny? Um, I'll be right with you. Well, actually, I have some friends here who want to wish you a happy birthday. Oh, it, OK. This is, this is, hello, I am from India, up in Tibet, and I wanted to wish you on behalf of the Dalai Lama and the Dalai Madison and the Hello Dalai, I wanted to wish you a very happy and wise birthday. And my friend here, G.I. Raff, hey, hey, how you doing? How you doing out there, Rick? I just want to wish you a happy birthday. It's got to go up my long neck. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Yeah, whatever you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. All right, all right. Thank you have great friends. Calm down, calm down. Okay. <laughs> do you want to do a music, uh, share music, or you want to do that later? What, what would you like to? You'd do? have to put me on share so I can play some music and share it. You okay. should be able to. Or, or I should be able, I don't need to share a screen. I just need to see if I can get the, um, put it on to where it'll share the music. I guess that's screen share. I gotta yes. do it that share way. Share screen and click share computer sound. Put on my glasses. Because we are all getting old here. All right. Uh, Speak for share, yourself. Yeah. Speak for yourself. Okay, I will speak for myself. All right, so I, I, I don't need to do that from this old guy. And let's see if this will work. Um, all right, okay. So what I wanna to say to you, Rick, is that um, on behalf of the millions and millions, and I'll say billions of children, because in a way we're all, we're all children um, in, at heart, uh, uh, they want to sing a song uh, for you, uh, and representing all of them is the Children's Choir from Miami and Nashville that we recorded a few years ago, and I'll sing along. Here we go. Okay. Hopefully you can hear. Oh, yeah. I pledge allegiance to the earth, and all the children sing. I pledge allegiance to the earth, to our earth, my home, the planet of my birth. From the mountains to the deepest seas, from the farmlands to the tallest trees, from the love in you to the love within me. Oh yeah, I pledge. Now the children sing. To all living things from a soul to a gentle stream from the dolphins to the air I breathe from the children from the hope in you to the peace within within me. Everybody would hold up one finger. We're going to sing together all the things we share in common on this planet. 
Here we go. One world. Oh, one moon shining in the night. One sun. Spark of life. Here we go. I pledge allegiance to. Oh, sing it out, sing it out loud. My home, the planet of my birth. It's the only planet we're going to live on, folks. From the mountains to the deepest seas. From the farmlands to the tallest trees. From the loving you to love me. I I'm going to invite you all to sing along with the children. The words, I pledge allegiance to the earth, started quietly. All right, here we go. Let's get a little bit louder so we can hear us all around Rick's apartment. I pledge allegiance to the earth. Let's sing it so we can hear it all over the United States. I pledge allegiance to you. One more time, all the way around this beautiful planet of ours. I pledge allegiance to the earth. Oh, yeah, Rick. So on behalf of all the children of this planet, whose hearts pray for peace, and working together as we, we wish you a blessed happy birthday. It was beautiful. Thanks for sharing that. That, that was, was beautiful. beautiful. That was so beautiful. Thank you, Lanny. You're welcome. Lanny Smith, known as Earthman uh, at uh, earthman.tv, I think it is, right? Earthman. So, uh, Robert, do you want to tell people about this? Uh, what we're going to try here, the three note challenge? Sure, Rick, I'd be happy Rick, to. Can I do something before you start? Yes. Sorry, Robert. Okay. <laughs> hold, that, hold that thought. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Deborah. It's so good to see you. Happy birthday, Rick. Thank you. Um, Rick had asked me a little while ago if I would uh, sing a, a little something a cappella for him. And I really want to do that because Rick and I have performed together a number of times, including an extraordinary little concert in China in 2012. <laughs> and Sefi was there for that. So I hope she remembers that too. And uh, so I'm, I want to do for you just a little bitty snippet of a song just to honor who you are, Rick, and all of your gifts and talents that you've brought to the world. So here we go. I've never done this quite before. I've never, certainly never sung on Zoom. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Thank you. There's a place for we. Somewhere a place for we. Hold my hand and we're halfway there. Hold my hand and I'll take you there. Someday, somehow, somewhere. Wow. That was fabulous. <laughs> Deborah, good to see you. Good to see you, Jerry. And uh, you, my, my wife, Karen, said you look so much younger. <laughs> no, you look great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> Move to Mexico. It's very rejuvenating. Ah, Where yeah. in Mexico were you living? San Miguel de Allende. And you're all invited, so come on down. <laughs> Wow, that was that was fabulous, and um, I look forward to the next time we can perform together. Love 
got some musicians here, Rick. If you come down, I guarantee you can play. All right. That's Rick, can I say something before we go into the three note challenge? Sure. Hi, everybody. Um, I just want to pay a big tribute to my dear friend, Rick, um, who I've known since the 90s, since he had those salons together. Hi. Oh, my God, I hate seeing myself on camera. Anyway, um, I'm going to have to leave after the three note challenge because I still work at school and I had my booster yesterday um, and I'm a little I think my immune system stronger than I thought. <laughs> so I have a very early morning tomorrow. So I'll be leaving after the three note challenge. But I, I just wanted to say that it's wonderful um, to be here to celebrate Rick uh, and we the world. And Rick, you're just an inspiration to me and to everybody who knows you. And I just want to thank you for being the brother that I never had. And um, for being a wonderful musician and a wonderful selfless human being. Really, Rick, much love to you and, and to all the people that you brought together here tonight um, and, and to your brother and to Avon. All right. Well, thank, thank you, Retta. And um, just uh, so you, uh, is this the first time you're seeing her, Robert? Because uh, Retta and Robert, we're talking about um, restorative justice for Trends magazine recently. Oh, Robert's here. Hey, Robert's hi, here. Robert. I'm going to add him to the spotlight. Hi, Robert. How are you? It's good to meet you on Zoom. Yeah, yeah I do. I do restorative justice and non-punitive discipline, community building uh, in a New York City public high school and in I, I've done it also in several middle schools in the city. And, um, I, you know, I, my job is to actually make our school a happier and more peaceful place. And that's a great job to have. <laughs> Exhausting, but great. That's great. Yeah. yeah. I teach kids to be peacemakers. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's so important. Wow. So, um, okay. Well, thank you, Retta. Stay on as long as you possibly can. I will. I will. And then, um, so Happy let's birthday. try this idea because I can't play too much longer here because of this building. <laughs> so we have oh, to get this I, three note challenge I, going. Can I, before you do, share uh, a poem that? Well, I thought, why don't you hang on for that, Janice? Okay. Yeah, we have to, we have to start, because otherwise we're going to be kicked out. Hello. Oh, you can't play for long. Yeah, I can't play past the uh, the top of the hour. So we're going to do Hello. this three-note uh, challenge. I can see myself. Oh, T Kenny. Hi. Uh, <laughs> I made it. <laughs> can you hear me? I, I want, I, yeah, you made it. I'm, I'm something now, and then maybe we'll come to you after that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so ha hang on and go ahead, Robert. Do you want to explain what oh. this is? Okay, everyone. So Rick and Sefi were talking the other day, and they came up with a rather unique way to support We the World, especially given Rick's talents as a composer and producer. And this is a wonderful way because you're also supportive of We the World. This is a way to support We the World and to join in a creative endeavor. So it's a three note challenge. And what we're going to do here is we're going to have an auction. And the auction is going to be whoever wins will have three auctions. And whoever wins the auction gets to name out. And once we have the three notes, Rick is going to compose a song on the spot using those three notes. So like you all bear with us, we, this has not been done before on Zoom to our knowledge. So we're gonna give it a go. So um, I'm gonna go to gallery view. So hopefully I can see people. Yes, and, and maybe and I'll do that. And we're gonna have the auction for the first. Yeah, so we're gonna have the action for the first note and just shout out and I'll, I'll find you or shout out your name and go, that's my bid. 
we're going to start at $25 and then see where we go. Remember, this is for we the world. So who'd like to bid $25 on the first note? I will. And, um, it was breaking up a little bit when, when you were describing it. So just I'm just going to repeat what. Did I lose this? So it's like the three notes who auction for each note chooses any note on the keyboard. It could be sharps or flats or anything. And once we have the three notes with the, the winner of the three auctions for each note, then I will compose a song based on those or a, a, a music a, a piano piece based on those three notes. Okay, okay ahead, so we Robert. do, right. So we do have a first bit, I believe it's from Tazika, if I'm saying your name correctly. Tezekiah, Tezekiah, so, Tezekiah or Tez. You did Tezekiah, good. Thank you. So she she bid $25. I bid 30. Lanny bids 30. Okay, so Lanny bids 30. We have a competition here. Anyone want to bid 35? 50. Oh, 50. Hey, Lanny, you have a real competition here. Anyone wants to bid 60? Win until she saw something that would make her lose it. So we still have two more, two more notes to go. Everyone can still take a chance. So right now we're going for thirty, um, fifty dollars once. And, and sorry, Rick, for fifty and fifty is the winner, right? Fifty is the winner. And who? We have one note for fifty dollars. Who? Who? Uh, who's the winner for fifty? That's me. Ten. Yay! Oh, <laughs> That's great. What yeah, a family. what a wonderful bargain. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, so let's do an E sharp. Yes, I made a E sharp, which is actually F. <laughs> e sharp is actually F. Okay, now well, that depends the... now, doesn't it? <laughs> 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 So you shouldn't feel left out, folks. We still have two more notes two to, go. More to go. So we have our first one. I bid 30 on the second note. Okay, we haven't even started and Lonnie just jumps right in $30. We have $30 on the second note. Anyone want to say 50? I bid 50. This is Shannon Crosspair. Okay, Shannon's bidding 50. 55, this is Marty. Marty 55, great. Anyone want to make it 60? Okay, I think we have a second note, Marty for 55. Okay. What's your note, Marty? Uh, uh, let's see, uh, F, huh? First one is F. You're gonna make it hard for him, Marty. Make it as hard as, 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 hard as you want. Ah. Uh. Play the F for me again, please. <laughs> what I'm hearing in my head, let me see what that is. Because they're unlikely. But you could you could make if you it want to make it. You want. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see. Maybe Oh, maybe it's C. Let me see. Let me see what I want. Here. It could be anything you want. Somebody, I, I hear somebody. Make it a B. <laughs> we really want to test. No, no, um, no she, she, really make she it pledged hard. the note. She, um, she did? She, yeah, I paid. She won the, paid the auction. I paid $55 for this note. Just That's to right. say. Yeah, I know. Um. Somebody, somebody's got to mute themselves. Just take it down a half step. Okay. So the next one is going to be E, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so we got was, F, and yeah. then we got E. What's good? Okay. Go ahead, Robert. Do the so, next. guys, one more chance to buy a note and, and be part of this song. So for $25, who wants to bid for the third note? I'll bid 30. Okay, Whoa. Lanny's at 30. And then I'm going to jump it up to 50. Okay. Woo! Lani, do you want to go for, um, do you want to go for 55? No, I'm going to let Shannon have it, but I'll make a donation. Go, I'll go 60, Robert. I'm in for 60. 
Wow, we have Ben 66. Oh, wow, that's great. 60, I mean, sorry, Ben. 65. 65 for Deborah. Anyone want to make it 70? I'll bet 70. Uh, 70 from, um, Jum from Jumama? Jumama. Hi, so seventy dollars. Anyone want to go for seventy-five? I'll go. I'll go eighty, Robert. Ben is bidding eighty dollars for this last note. This is the most expensive note so far. Anyone want to go above to eighty-five? I think I should just go to a hundred and be done with it. <laughs> okay, one hundred dollars from Shannon. Good on you, Shannon. Good on you, Shannon. Well done. Great. So I think Rick, Shannon, at one. 100. Okay, what's the note? I mean, unless somebody wants to go higher. Okay. Okay, um, I'm gonna say a G. G? Yep. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we have F, E, and G. This is okay, a girl. Here we go. This is a girl song, Rick. So give us a good anthem. Oh my gosh. Woohoo! Woohoo! Isn't he the most amazing?
Oh, that was person. beautiful. Amazing. I know it was Just so made that up. Beautiful. Well done. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, so beautiful. Rick, so much talent. Rick, I, I almost, I started tearing up. I just Me remember too. Rick and I, Rick and I have written <laughs> songs together and it just really reminded me of being in the studio with you and writing. And you're so amazing. It was just gorgeous. Oh, oh that's so nice. Yeah, Roz, it's so great to yeah. see you. And, 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 and good to <laughs> have you with, with all my fr other friends here. I know, oh. it's wonderful to see you too. Wow. So and hard Roz, is, Roz is such a fabulous singer and performer and writer. Do um, you want to tell people about the show that you've done and that's uh, that's being staged now? Sure. I, um, I'm out here in California. I'm a New Yorker, but I live here now. Um, so uh, in 2008, there was a young 15-year-old um, gay boy who was shot and killed in his classroom by his 14-year-old um, white supremacist classmate, and he was killed. Um, and I was very moved by this story. Uh, his name was Lawrence <laughs> King. Uh, he also was calling himself Letitia. So he was moving into trans. I was really moved by this story and I uh, just was very um, guided to write a musical. And I had never written a musical before. I'd written songs and I'd written scripts. But um, so I just, stop doing everything else. I was pitching songs to Nashville and trying to do all this stuff. But as soon as I started doing this, um, all kinds of doors started opening and people got interested. And three years ago, um, the show was optioned by um, a Broadway producer and I have an amazing creative team and people have just gathered around um, to work on this. And, uh, so we'll probably so we're on our way. Um, we've done workshops in Dallas and in California, and a presentation in New York in 2018. The show is called "Living Over the Rainbow," and um, so what my show is about a 15-year-old non-binary boy who comes down, comes back from the afterlife to confront the boy who killed him. So I, I'm just grateful that this story was uh, given to me to write. Not that I think I wrote it. <laughs> it's just downloaded to me. Um, but I'm grateful that I was there to receive it. Um, so yeah. Wow, that's, that's fabulous. That's an amazing story. And it's, it's inspirational. And um, I think uh, a lot of people here are very inspired by what, what you have done. So th thank you, Roz. Thank you. Thank you. So um, I can, I, I'm going to call on my dear friend, Keishi. Would you like to say a few words, Keishi? Oh. And I want to tell the story of how we met Keishi. Or oh, do, sure. do you remember? Do you remember yes. that? Hang on, hang on a um, yes, you can, you're welcome to share the story of how we met, Rick. I'm curious to hear it from your mouth. Yes. So <laughs> I, I heard that you, that um, there was a group that wanted to actually raise funds for We the World. <laughs> and it was your group. And I, 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 I couldn't believe it. And this was a long time ago, right? This was 2004. What, 2004? Wow. 2004, right. And, and then we met and then it, it worked out that you did that. But your group uh, went on to have a major presence in our launch of 11 Days of Global Unity. You brought 35 of your belly dancers brought to the uh, opening event for 11 Days of Global Unity with Jane Goodall and Marianne Williamson and Amnesty International. Do you remember that? 
Uh, I think I was on the road when when Pure came. So that's uh, an acronym for Public Urban Ritual Experiment. Yes. And they had the opportunity to go up on stage. I think there was a performance at the United Nations. And then I think there was another performance in a theater that you organized. I was there for the one that was at John Jay. Didn't you do uh -huh. one there? Right, so the, we did a few what, concerts together. Right, we did. What I was talking about was at the, the what used to be called the Limelight, and right, and, and I I forgot that you weren't there, but your troop, your troop, your whole troop was there. Mm -hmm. Wow! So tell people about Belly Queen. Uh, Belly Queen is my school at this point, and we have daily classes, and we help get people integrated back into their bodies. And it is um, an opportunity for people to learn how to listen to themselves and and improvise, similar to what you did tonight, Rick, where you just were given three notes and then you made up a, a beautiful song on the spot. So I, I teach my students how to improvise using their bodies because we're not just brains um, being carried around with our bodies, right? And actually, when you were playing that, Rick, I was having visions of um, putting on a show together that we can have this challenge, this three note challenge for an audience. And then we, I could dance or anybody else could dance. The, the audience can choose the dancers they want to dance to your song that's made up on the spot. And I think that would be pretty cool. So I think that's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. I like too. Yeah. Let's definitely do that. Yeah, I've been working uh, recently on a project called Identity, and it's about um, storytelling. And I'm going to Austin, Texas first to run this at the beginning of December, but I will be doing this in New York City and uh, next year in Pittsburgh. And just working with different artists and looking for collaborators. So Rick, I'll be calling you up. That sounds good to me. <laughs> and it seems like a bunch of people here are, are very interesting creative folks too. Oh, totally, totally creative. So uh, that sounds great. I'm so glad that people got to know you. Do you want to give your website? And you can also put it in the chat. Yeah, my my web personal website's kshi.com and I work on different stories uh, like ocean stories and nature stories as well. Um, my main priority right now is is art for the planet and I am figuring out how I can use more of my time and my resources to focus on um, being there for our, our mother. And through creating, well, I'm just brainstorming and not just brainstorming. I've been working on, on a bunch of different projects over time. So if you're curious, you can look me up. But um, but yeah, I I'm feeling urgency. So right, you're talking about Mother Earth, I think, right? Of course, Mother, our Mother, and the Mother, our, our Mother Earth. Yeah, yes. and also you you have the ocean in the background there, right? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll be performing with uh, Saturday Night Alive this Saturday, and oh, Deepak Chopra is going to be one of the guests. Um, this is an event that is play put on by Global Peace Tribe. I don't know. Oh, Rick, you were on there a few weeks ago. Yes, uh, they had a, a whole show devoted to 11 Days of Global Unity on September 11th, and Ben... Uh, uh, had uh, was the co-host on Ben Bowler on the um, September 18th for a peace weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'll be there this Saturday. And I'm a repeat offender on that program. <laughs> <laughs> I've, this is wow. my third time in, in not too long. So <laughs> isn't that great? Yeah, that is so fabulous. Well, thank you, Keishi. Um, and I wanted to um, ask Angel, do you want to talk about, thank you, Angel, for uh, joining us. And do you want to let people know about Give Butter 
And some people are asking how they can make their pledge donations that they pledged during the, the auctions of the notes. Right, so there's two different ways that um, people can send their pledges. The givebetter.com forward slash Rick's B-Day will take you directly to the landing page for this event where you can make a, a donation at any time or you can go to we.net forward slash give and that, that's PayPal that takes you directly to we the world's PayPal account to make your donation there. So either of those will work. Okay, that's great. And uh, do you want to just say anything yourself? That you are just a very wonderful person. You have such a beautiful soul um, and Sefi too. I'm, I love Sefi. Everybody here is becoming like family to me and I get more and more amazed at the new faces that I see showing up and learning all the work that everyone is doing. And it just fascinates me that you are connected to so many people doing so many wonderful things in the world. Like a, it's endlessly amazing to me. And I get really, really excited when I get to see and hear everything that's going on with everyone. So I really, really appreciate you being in the world, Rick. We really need you. Oh, and we uh, appreciate you, Angel. Thank you, Sefi. And the rest of the week team. Exactly. Hey, Rick. Yes. This is Jana. Oh, hi, Jana. Do you want to join the crowd? Well, since we're we're you're talking with your staff right now, Angel. <laughs> the Shiro is here. Jana, Jana is the Shiro. Jana, oh, Jana is the Shiro. Where where are you, Jana? Well, and there's our lovely Shan Crossbear. Um, I have a message from you, Rick, from the other side of the world, wow. and. Um, this is uh, for Papa Rick from Tumani. Can you hear me okay? Yes, go ahead. Okay, this is from Tumani for Papa Rick. On the special day of your birthday, several trees are planted today in your honor along the road to the school in Tanzania. And it will be a yearly event to plant more trees in your honor. And pictures in the video are coming shortly. So I wanted to make sure I got that message to you from Tumani. Papa That's Rick. great. And Tumani is in what, Tanzania? Tanzania, yes. Yeah. That's so great. And we're so happy that he is starting a branch of We the World in Tanzania to go along with our dear friends in uh, Botswana and Rwanda and Nigeria, right? And oh. Egypt. <laughs> and Burundi. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Sefi. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> she helped me get in. That's great. Thank you. Thank you, Jenna. And and they call you Mama Jenna. Yep, Mama Jenna. <laughs> I take care of all the volunteers. Yeah. So, well, thank you. And um, Angel, are you able to put, or maybe you did already, did you put those links in the chat for people? Yes, they are there. Oh, okay, great. Perfect. Thank you. Um, so Janice, you said you wanted to do a poem? Well, I, I have to tend to some things for my mother. For those of you who don't know, my mother's 92 and I live with her, so I have to go do some things. But when you ask someone here to write a poem, and then all of a sudden this, I just wrote this earlier while we were starting this, so it's not wow. really vetted. So it's just kind of stream of consciousness, but I'd like to read this. <clears throat> Oh, Rick, you throw people a curve. At first, you seem quite reserved, but you carry a vision so grand that continues to expand. It's presenced with grace to help the human race. Your personal flag unfurled gives us all space to dream into that we are the world. Wow. Thank you, Janice. That was fabulous. Oh, wow, Janice. Wow. Beautiful. 
inspired by all of us who are we are the worlders okay how about one more time you want to hear it again yeah okay, one more time. <clears throat> okay that was my first live reading <laughs> <laughs> oh rick you throw people quite a curve no wait a minute. let me start again now i'm on stage and i was so natural <laughs> before <laughs> oh rick you throw people a curve at first you may seem quite reserved but you carry a vision so grand that continues to expand. It's presence with grace to help the human race. Your personal flag on furl gives us all space to dream into that we are the world. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. You like that? That's great. Okay. Great so Janice is, is involved with so many interesting things. Uh, no, that no. I'm just no. I'm involved with so many interesting people, and I just sort of am smart enough to uh, know people smarter than me, and and uh, learn from them, and hang on to them, and support them, and promote them. I mean, we wouldn't want to do that. Yep. And you are one of the champions of We Power America. So that yeah. is. The and next we have Mitchell on thing. here too. Mitchell, show your face. Oh, Mitchell's Mitchell. here. You want to say he hi, Mitchell? Where are you? He was. Yeah, he was. <laughs> uh, so he just, did he slid off? Anyway, I, I must go. I leave uh -huh. you with that thought, all of you. And thank you all for being part of my life. And thank you for inviting me, Rick, to play with you on We Are the um, We Power America to yes, be continued. To and be Blessings on your birthday. Wishing you a miracle when you least expect it. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Bye, Tom. Thank all. you, Janice. It's so good to see you. To Bye. be continued. And I want to introduce one of my dearest friends in the world and oldest friends in the world, Kenny Lee. Kenny, you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> we, we have known each other for how many years? Uh, well over 50. Isn't that something? Yeah, yeah. City College. We Yeah, we were at City College together. Wow. Um, I graduated in 71. Is that when you graduated? Yep, yep. I was on the five-year plan, so 66 to 71. <laughs> <laughs> It was not expensive to do that back then. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Next it was year of college. Good thing. It was a good thing. It was like they they used to call that the the poor, the poor man's Harvard. I think it was. Like, it was. You know. Tuition was it like was. sixty bucks or something like that. Wow. For college, and That's they had some of the best teachers in the start. world. When did you start, Rick? 66 or 67? I started at 67. Okay. So, the so first you were on the five-year plan. Like, I was on the four-year plan. Yeah, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> it was like uh, $37 or something ridiculously cheap like that to start with. Yeah. <laughs> it was unbelievable. And Have you seen uh, the, the tributes to Colin Powell? And I didn't know until that that there's this whole Colin Powell Institute up there now. Wow. Yeah, he was a graduate of yeah, City College. Yeah. Wow. But just to show you like the level of teachers, I took a course at City College in music with Ravi Shankar. Ravi oh. Shankar. I was there yeah. with him in that class for one semester. Can you imagine that? That's the level of teaching that they had exactly. at the, and it was practically free at college. Did you go to that concert? I forget who the music teacher was. It was a woman music teacher that took us to his concert. We stood on, sat on the stage with him. Uh, I can't remember. Maybe. Yeah. Well, I that was know. a big one. That was a big one. Yeah. Fifty years ago. Can you imagine? Oh, uh, over. <laughs> <laughs> and we're still kicking. Yeah. We're going strong, actually. Mm -hmm. So what are you, 72 this year? 72. Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah. Uh, you got me by a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> month and a half. When's, month and a half. when's your birthday? September 7th. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. Wait a second. That means you're older than me. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you're a whippersnapper. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Let me tell this story. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh oh. Right put you back on <laughs> spotlight. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> ah. Where are you? The, um, oh, there I believe you it was 1984. Yeah. It was the Halloween parade when it used to wind through Greenwich Village before it was just up and down uh, 6th Avenue. And um, I was dressed like Jimi Hendrix. And Rick was stationed up at, what was that, the library? The library that looks like a fairy castle. Yeah, it looks like a castle. So he's up there on the castle. And I'm walking past, and I see him, he sees me. So I start playing air guitar, and he starts, well, actually, I had a guitar with me. I just not plugged in. And he starts wailing on the synthesizer. So we, we had a little show there for a while. Exactly. That was yeah. a gig. I had that gig for six years. Cool. <laughs> where they dressed me as Merlin, the wizard. In of the, the castle. wizard's robes and the, the mask. And my job was to play spooky music when the when the bit when the halloween parade came up to that point uh in the parade route on wow. sixth avenue and 10th street yeah and and at that moment then they would lower the this giant spider from the top of the <laughs> castle and then and then i you know because i had this high-end digital uh, music system that i would bring to the halloween parade <laughs> Uh, you know, a $30,000 instrument, and I oh had it God. up there on the platform, and, um, and I would play spooky music on the, on, with the cathedral organ sound. Oh, my God. Yeah. And then, Can you yeah, still play it, Rick? Of course. Yeah. Uh, Let's hear it. Then, <laughs> well, I'd have to play it on the piano, and uh, unfortunately, uh, the building here, it's too oh. late to play <laughs> but um but but i would then jam with the all there were like 35 marching bands right that were a part of the parade so reggae bands and every style you know um and i would jam with them as they passed by the 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 castle where i was station <laughs> well i was just watching that particular parade until a steel drum band came by playing Lionel Richie's all night long. And I said, that's it. <laughs> Got to jump in. Got to jump in. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Too exactly. funny. Yeah, that, that was fabulous. Well, thank you. I wanted everybody to meet you, Kenny. Yeah. So, and you Speaking meet of other Halloween, um, anyone lives in Long Island, my band's going to be playing at a place called margarita's cafe in freeport on the 30th saturday six o'clock hey kenny hit me up on that you're in long island finally <laughs> hey oh al al smith you're here yeah he's been sitting there quietly very quietly okay <laughs> and how long have i known you al oh uh, we won't talk about that <laughs> <laughs> I, I, could, I could tell the story, though, that how we corrupted you. I, I guess when you were out of college, you, you, you were a math teacher, right? A math teacher, exactly. Yeah, so we corrupted you and recruited you for our rock band. And all the kids would come by, Mr. Ulfric is on keyboards? <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You got it. <laughs> wow. So, Al, are you going to show a video? Well, Tom is on, on. He prepared the video that you played with us. I'd like to give the introduction of how that came about at, at the Peace Day party. Was it 2019? Yes, on, on the International Day of Peace. Yeah. And we had earlier at the beginning, we had a tribute for the person who created, who helped create the International Day of Peace uh, uh, and helped get that resolution passed in 1981 at the United Nations. Can you imagine that? So, uh, cool. and she just passed a few days ago, uh, Avon Madison. But anyway, so t tell the story, and then where is Tom? Tom on on here? Yeah, I'll Tom is on there. Him find him I'm right there. here. There he is. Let me find you. Right here. 
Uh, on. There good. we go. Okay, I'm going to spotlight you. I'm going to add you to the spotlight. Uh, if I can. Oh, there we go. Okay, go ahead. So, well, Tom, why don't you tell the story and then Tom is going to uh, do it up or video, something like that. Let's video. see how that works, right? Uh, well, and, okay, and Tom, so don't forget to to share uh, computer audio when you share the screen. Yeah, sure thing. I'm trying to get it up. Okay, but go ahead. Um, why don't you tell the story, Al? Okay, so um, I was slated to play at the Peace Day party, right? So I, I go on stage, and so Rick and I did the opening number together. And so Rick goes to me, he says, you know, hey, Al, if you want me out, you know, I'll play on your set. So he and Juma Sultan, who used to play with Hendrix, joined me. The only problem was that I didn't have time to even tell Rick my song list, what song I was going to be playing, what songs I was going to be playing. I think I did a, a seven song set. And of course, what keys the songs are in. <laughs> <laughs> but for those of us who know Rick, know that Rick is gifted with perfect pitch, the thing every musician envies. But I I worked with a lot of people at perfect pitch, but Rich's perfect pitch is a little bit more perfect than everybody else's. <laughs> and, and so when you see the video of, of that performance, every time I see it, I go brag, I go, listen to Rick. Not only did he not know what song was coming next, he had no clue of my song list, but he plays the darn thing like he owns it. I mean, that's, I mean... And, and I just gush all the time with him. So you see, I, I love Rick so much. And as we said, happy birthday, Rick. What a wonderful guy. I mean, we did sessions together, you know, recordings together. And Rick was always, he never said, I don't think Rick has, has had known his vocabulary. And he always added, such a splendid guy. And like I said, from kids, we kind of came through the music scene together. And we ended up, that's why, Rick, I found you when I ended up taking the job at Radio and TV Registry, and you called in one day. Remember that? <laughs> right. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, that was so funny. We lost touch. And I wasn't supposed to be working because I was a musician. You're not supposed to be working in the wheel if you're a musician. But I got all the contacts of New York <laughs> because of that. <laughs> wow. So there you have it. So I, I, I guess Tom will cue up the, the video. So I guess this is one of the songs that we played. But I want everyone, to, you know, to listen, you know, to Rick. Remember, he didn't even know what song was coming next, okay. let alone the arrangements that I have to this stuff. So I play my backing tracks and I play my guitar and I sing. And so Rick joined me. And, and one more thing. Remember, Rick, I had two, I, had, I usually have my stage set up with stereo speakers, one on each side. I wanted one side to be for you so you can hear what was going on. And the engineer cut off your side of the stage. <laughs> So it makes it even harder for his ear to strain to hear what's going on, but he did it anyway. My ears grew very big that, that day. <laughs> they just grew very big. <laughs> so hopefully, Tom, take, I guess, Tom, you can take it from there. So I got the video now, but I'm trying to find a way to sync it over. I, I don't know. So you just have to share your screen. All right, it's on our computer because I think Al's, um, let's see, a PC that he gave me. So I guess I'll pull it over here. Hold on a sec, let me just pull this on. So um, you're not on the same, you can, can't you share it on that, on the, the, the computer that you're doing Zoom on? The one I'm doing Zoom on, like it's not on there, it's on the PC, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. Can you turn your camera towards it? Yeah, I can. Hold on. <laughs> but how about the I audio? Technology. How we, yeah, right. How are we going to hear the audio? Just join Zoom again. Just go in on the other computer. All right. Sure thing. Hold on. You want to do that on the other computer? Yeah. You could join Zoom. The same link. So I tell you what, while, while he does that, let's hear from somebody else. So we keep this uh, fast-paced show happening. I got a question. Where were you teaching math? Where was I teaching math? Yeah. 
Um, so I taught in, in my alma mater, which was, um, uh, let's see, wait, I'm just trying to do something here. My alma mater uh, was the junior high school near me, junior high school 52, uh, up in Inwood, uh, Manhattan. Wow. Like 200th Street on, on in Manhattan. Oh, nice. Rick, I have a question for Al Smith. Mr. Smith, by any chance, do you know Shirley Murdoch or Cuba Gooding Sr.? Cuba. Well, I played <coughs> with, with Cuba Gooding Sr. At, at, at a few concerts. We were on the same shows. I was the band leader for the Joneses at the time. So we did shows together. I think I met you. Um, I actually was in a show with Cuba Gooding for two and a half years. We, uh, we did a stage play called Be Careful What You Pray For. And when we came to New York, I believe I met you then. Did you come to see that show? Do you remember? No, I don't recall that, but we probably, you know, you know, been on some stage together. You know how that works. Okay. I actually played Cuba's mother. I was 25 years old playing <laughs> mother. I was playing an 83 year old at that time. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. But By the way, beautiful voice. I heard you earlier. Wow, thank you so much. You uh your your um your name, I know your name and your your face is very familiar. So I, I would not be surprised if I go back in the archive some kind of way and, and see that uh, we met through Cuba. Probably okay. so, probably, yeah. Okay. After we get off Zoom, we'll go, all right, that's where. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the usual, right? So um, I think we're still waiting for Tom. Um, let's see, who else? Anybody else want to say a few words? Oh, Rick B, Rick Buckley. Thank you for joining us. I, I so, heard that you were joining Zoom with bells on your toes. Is that true? Oh, yeah, but it started raining here and the bells got stuck in the mud as I came in. So, <laughs> but I think I'm being upstaged here by a screen share, which looks just marvelous. Why don't we see <laughs> if it works? Mm -hmm. But anyway, happy birthday, Rick. You're a light in the world and you know, bringing joy and wisdom and action really to people great. that thank fills you. their hearts so they can also do the right thing. So thank you. I thank you. And we call each other Rick, Rick U and Rick B. <laughs> That's like the first time we started working together. We didn't know who was talking about who. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. So Tom, are you ready to rock and roll yeah let me share a screen okay go ahead and don't forget to turn on the computer share computer sound sure thing. hold on hey rick i'm gonna volunteer for the next party okay i'll be the tech host <laughs> thank you <laughs> we need it we need it so murphy showed up again huh there's yeah, never a party without out. Murphy. <laughs> yeah, Rigby, you let me get through that whole song before you told me what I should have done on the computer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought you knew, but I was just going to remind you. <laughs> uh, no. I'm the last person to know. <laughs> yeah, we want to tech that does things on time, you know? <laughs> Here we go. Hey, wait, who did the costumes? <laughs> oh, so what happened? I, I don't know. Something, it's like not working. I really don't know what's going on. If you can send me the file, maybe I can uh, put it up. Is it a link? Uh -huh. If you put the link in the chat, Rick B can uh, play it. Come on, Rick. Hold on, like, I don't even know what's going on because this is a file, like, it's not a link, unfortunately. 
As you can see, we we thoroughly rehearsed this and did the whole sound check. <laughs> Oh, well, we could all do a cappella happy birthday to you, Rick. I mean, <laughs> and we'll keep it low, okay? Yeah. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ben. Happy birthday to you. Is just more, what a per which is just a person with perfect pitch wants to hear. <laughs> <laughs> and the you that key. <laughs> <laughs> Name that key. <laughs> and he said, ears grew big. I think on that song he made them shrink. Yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> you know, I noticed Kermit turned his head away when that was going on. Oh. <laughs> Kermit has to put up with everything. Hey, where are Kermit's ears, Rick, exactly? I've never really figured out where his ears are. That's where his hands were when they were singing the song. <laughs> yeah, where are his ears? I've never seen any ears on Kermit. Hi, ho, Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Remember when they used to give punches for your birthday? This was ear punches. Uh huh. Right. So, so Rick, uh, I want to I want to say happy birthday to you. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Sure. I think <laughs> while while we're waiting for, I don't know if you can send that link to or put it in the in the chat for Rick, um, but um, in the meantime, go ahead, Shannon. Yeah, you I just want to say who you are, <laughs> let people know where you are and everything. I, I will send I me the do. file, Rick. <laughs> okay. I don't have I don't have it, but but um, Thomas has Tom it. has the file. You can send it on WeTransfer. It'll just come out as a link. Yeah. Okay. Or, well, yeah, well, well anyway. What, there's never yeah, a party well, that let, let, them, doesn't show let up. them figure out how to get it and right put it up and I and I have to tell you I have to self-disclose that I went through something earlier today very similar I was doing a presentation and I was having difficulty loading something on zoom so I can sympathize when that when that happens and you know it kind of distracted I mean I want to bring everybody back into the room because this is a great opportunity to one, honor Rick and his work and to show that by supporting in the ways that we're supporting. And part of what Rick does is, you know, he collects all these fabulous people. I'm, my name is Shannon Crossbear and I live on my homelands of the Ojibwe people on Lake Superior in Northern Minnesota, right by the uh, Ontario border. I'm a member of Fort William First Nation. Um, I'm a mom and a grandma and um, and I live in a little cabin in the middle of the woods in the boreal forest. And when I think like I'm listening to these stories and I'm listening, I love stories, of course I'm a storyteller. And so I'm listening to these stories um, and of course, you know, Rick is a humble person, so you don't get, you can't possibly get the depth of every, his relationships, everything he's done, every, you know, his talents, but that gets revealed over time. And for those of you that have spent more time on this earth walk with him, I'm sure that that continues to be true. So I've only known him in this lifetime, a little teeny time, right? But, uh, but the fact that 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 our lives um, intersected, given where I'm from and what my life journey has been, um, is to me a testament to someone who lives their truth. And so I just want to say thank you, Rick. Happy, happy birthday. I'm glad you're you know, every morning when I get up and I'm on what we say, this side of the dirt, 
I'm like, it's all golden from there. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm still here. I still have a purpose. There's still something for me to do. So um, while they're doing that, the only thing I was thinking, what? Oh, you know, being a storyteller, what kind of, maybe I'll just tell a little story. So, oh, um, so yeah, so I'll tell a little story and let's see if I can, can put it, bring us all there. I have, I have of course, I have props. Gotta have props. So I'm gonna see how I can turn my camera. I know I know there's a little way that I can do this where you make it go the other direction. Let's see if I can do that. It's somewhere on here, right? There. there. Wow. So let's do this. I'm going to tell a little story and wow. we'll give you a little visual to see while I'm telling the story. See if I can set it up. This is this is not my tech, my technical. I'm going to turn the light off. Because when you're telling a story, you could you should kind of have, you know, a little ambiance to it all, right? So and and this is it's that time of year, right? It's the time of year when, um, when for me, where I live um, in the middle of the boreal forest, it's uh, storytelling time around campfires. And it's just beginning. Like we can't tell sacred stories until the snow is on the ground. It's like some kind of rule we got. But you can tell other kinds of stories any time of year. So in the fall, we, you know, we tell a variety of the stories. So last night I went outside and and where I live in the boreal forest, um, there's no uh, ambient light. There's just the stars. So it's very dark and, and you can see, but it's not, it's light because there's so many stars that you see above you. Sometimes you go out and you see the Northern lights. And so, <clears throat> the Northern Lights have been around for the last couple of weeks. And so I've been making it a ritual to go outside at night and look up at the stars. And so as I was looking up at the stars, I remembered this story. So when you look at the sky and you see that Big Dipper, you know, most people know where the Big Dipper is or they've seen it. And there are seven stars there and they call them the Seven Sisters. So in a lot of traditions, they call those stars the seven sisters. But what people don't know is those seven sisters had a little brother. And their little brother's name was Forgets to Twinkle. And this was long, long time ago. And so their, their little brother, Forgets to Twinkle, he, you know, he was like any other little brother. He could be a little buggy and they would want to ditch him and go off and do their girl things without their little brother hanging out with them. But they were always having to take care of him. And they were always having to remind him because he forgot to twinkle. That was what his, why he got his name. So there was a rule that if you belong to the Sky Nation, you weren't a part of the Earth Nation. And you couldn't get too close to the Earth. And so if you got clo too close to the earth, they used to say, then you would get sucked down by the atmosphere and you would have to be part of the earth. You could never return to the Sky Nation. And so for all their relatives in the Sky Nation, they was kind of like a warning, just like when you were a little kid, when they said, you know, don't, you know, don't start a fire, or don't play by the river, or whatever was you were told. And it was the same kind of warning, it was pretty serious. But one day, uh, the seven sisters were out and uh, they wanted to go do something. And they just like, they had ditched Forgets to Twinkle. They just left him behind. And so for T Forgets to Twinkle always used to like to come down and kind of, you know, check out the earth and stuff and see what was happening. Um, he was always fascinated by it. Uh, and the sisters said, well, you, got, you can go ahead and do that, but just don't get, remember, you can't get too close to the earth. Yeah, 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 he says, I know. 
So he comes down and he's looking at the earth and he's right by this beautiful little pond. And all of a sudden he sees a fox and there's a fox there. Oh, the fox is just having a good time. He's jumping up and, you know, doing his little twirl and jumping back, hopping all around and forgets to twinkle his watching. And the fox knows it notices, forgets to twinkle. And he says to him, he says, uh, hey, what are you doing up there? Why don't you come down a little bit and play with me? Forgets to twinkle, says, well, I can't, you know, I'm part of the Sky Nation and, and uh, you know, my relatives told me I'm not supposed to get too close to the earth. He says, well, okay. That fox just, he's pretty tricky. So he just kind of let him be. And then he'd say, well, you could come a little bit closer. Her guess to twinkle is like, well, yeah, I guess I can come a little bit closer. Uh -huh. a little bit closer. And all of a sudden, forgets to twinkle got a little bit too close, and that fox jumped up and swallowed him whole. Forgets to twinkle was inside the fox. And he really didn't know what to do. And he went all the way back to the tail of the fox. And that's where he was like, I don't know, you know, how am I going to do this? I mean, I got to let my, they're going to start looking for me. My relatives are going to start looking for me. And sure enough, the, the sisters got back and grandma and grandpa said to him, well, where's your little brother? And they said, well, well, the last time we saw him, he was down there playing by the pond. Well, you better go, everybody better go out and look and see if you can find him. So they spent there all this guy nation relatives out there to, to look around and you know, they first they didn't see anything. But for meanwhile, forget the twinkle was in the tail and he was just trying all his might to be as as bright as he could and keep on his light and keep on his light. And finally the sisters saw that he was inside the fox. But what were they gonna do? Forget the twinkle was inside the fox. So they went to their aunties and uncles, the lightning and the thunder, and they said, help us. We've got to get forgets to twinkle outside of the fox. And so they created a big storm. The winds came in. They, they, they called in all the directions and the lightning came. And boy, that fox was just running around and, you know, and he was getting behind the trees and that lightning was getting thrown right at those trees. And you know, that would strike some of those trees. And to this day, you could see those lightning bolt marks on those birch trees, those black marks on the birch bark. That's from that time. And then what happened was they finally hit the tail of the fox and he yelped and out came Forgets to Twinkle. And of course, Forgets to Twinkle was so happy. And the fox from that day on had, you know, the bushy tail, but, Forgets the twinkle was all ready to go home. And then they said, but his, his grandparents came and they said, you know, we're glad that you're out, but remember, you can't come back to the Sky Nation. You got too close to the earth. And of course he was very sad, but they said, you know, don't worry. You know, you get to be anything that you want to be. You know, and he thought and he thought and he thought and he thought he wanted to be able to fly. So he knew he couldn't go back to the Sky Nation, but he wanted to be at least a little bit closer to his relatives. And he wanted to have a way that he could communicate with his relative. And so that's how the firefly came to be. So wow. every time you see a firefly, you will know it's forgets to twinkle. Wow. So that's your little story. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a great punchline. You know the irony of that story? Yes. I just yes. was asking someone about the whole firefly. Like, is it, isn't it amazing how these things, they light up and the electricity in it? Right, Mark? Is that a, yeah, like two days ago, I was pondering on that openly. So thank you for the answer. <laughs> well, now you know, Al, they're trying to connect up with their sisters in the Star Nation. It's all yeah, now I know. Connected. Now I'll retell that story. I know why this happens. <laughs> <laughs> all That's right. That's great. 
So I'll thank you, thank Shannon. Thank you. When the student is here, the teacher will appear. Thank the student's you. ready. Okay. <laughs> thank you. And, you're, and you're Shannon Crossbear is a coordinator of We the World's campaign for interdependence. So <laughs> of our 11 campaigns. So Thomas, thank thank you, Shannon. Thomas, uh, are we going to be able to watch it, or are we giving up? It's being downloaded right now. It wasn't working on my computer for some reason, so I had to send it to Richard. Oh, yep. We'll have it up in just a second, Rick. Okay. Do you want to remind people what it is? You know, it's been a while since we. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. <laughs> yes, it's it's, been it's a Rick place. owning the stage. Thank goodness we have a, we have a resident. <laughs> Tech person, we have been you. We foil Murphy one more time, huh? <laughs> Murphy's law. Murphy, Murphy is always yeah. hanging out. Okay, Murphy, we're ready to go. Murphy, very well, don't you? We? Ready to go? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward. So, okay, go ahead. Um, so, this is the um, when we were playing together on the International Day of Peace with Paul Paul Sladkus, right? He created the uh, event at, at Times Square. Is that correct, Al? That's correct. And it was um, on the International Day of Peace is like two or three years ago, three years ago? Uh, what, what, 20, 20, 2019? 2019. Yeah, two, two years ago. 192 countries simultaneously. Wow, that's great. Okay. Okay, you ready? Right, and, and this is, do you know what part to play? We we said we'd only played a, a few minutes of it. Do you know the? Yeah, the yeah. There's one selection. I we we picked. I think it was the finale. Of oh, I've got yeah. the topless dancers up. You want to start with them or? <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> That's all. It's a very. I thought uh, it was full disclosure. I'm sorry. I misunderstood here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see what you got. Hello, New York. Play a couple of minutes. Okay, we got, let me do just this. That's the beginning, that's not the... Uh... Let's try that again. Hello, New York. All right, y'all ready to party? For this Peace Day party, I'm Al Smith, this is Jama, this is Rick Ulfick. Now, they just joined me on the stage, right? But watch what happens. And you just joined me. I need you to do something with me. Can you do, can you do this for me? Can you get involved and party? Can you do that? OK, here we go. But the mother, there's too many of you crying. Brother, 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 there's far too many of you dying. You know we got a battle. To share some love is here today. By the father. We don't need to escalate. The war is not the answer. Only love can conquer hate. You know we got a battle. You shout some loving in a day. Pick a sign, sister. Pick a line. Don't punish me. What are you saying? What's going on? Let me hear you say, what's going on? Going on. Going on. Well done. 
with the shove Simply cause I have used to be long You know we've got to find a way To shout some loving at the day Dig it time, sister Dig it line, sister On the street Through brutality Well, talk to me You will see what What's going on Let me hear What's going on? 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 Hey, yeah. What's going on? What's going on? All right. How we doing out there so far? I said, how we doing out there? Say yeah. Say yeah. Say yeah. yeah. Say yeah. Okay, now clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands. Peace, clap your hands for peace, y'all. Clap your hands. Rock and roll, coochie coo. <laughs> All right. Fabulous. That was worth the wait. Rock on. Amazing, <laughs> Rick. Said rock and roll, coochie coo. I had to go, Paul, <laughs> rock, Paul, Paul is rock and roll, coochie coo. But that's never. <laughs> that was awesome. He just said that, Errol. Don't say he didn't. He said rock and roll coochie cool. <laughs> hey, Rick, you still have that tie? <laughs> yeah. Yes. You can see me in the corner there, right? I love this guy's humor, man. I, I always I always overdress for things. What can I say? <laughs> but uh, oh well that that was great. Thank you, Al. And thank you, and Rick. Tommy. And, and Rick B for getting it together for us. So um, we have, I guess we can hang out for a little bit longer. I'd love to hear from, let's see, who's here? Um, Lisa, do you wanna say a few words? And, um, and then definitely wanna hear from, from Jack uh about the we store so i'm gonna put that hey, out rick, as you, a... rick you have some people that are over in the attendees section if you can let them in i'm not a co-host so i can't oh let me make you a co-host um sorry i didn't know that um i tried to let in meredith before but i don't i don't know if she was able to get in and the other two, I don't think they can join, although um, they, they probably want to. Oh, there we go. So John is in now. But anyway, Lisa, do you want to just say sure. hi? And Oh, sure. I'd love to. I want to wish you happy birthday and just the brightest blessings flowing through, through to you and all around you. And um, perhaps just on the fly, I'll um, lead a little short participatory goodness flowing, flowing your way. Does that sound good? Sure. Awesome. So I want to invite everybody to put hands on your heart for a moment. Okay. And come into that space of the heartbeat and feel our heartbeats connecting. And breathing in all the way. 
I'm breathing out all the way. We flow into the space of the heart, of living love, of the we that we are. And in this place where our hearts are connected, we connect in with the heart of the earth. And in this place, deep in the heart of the living earth, we embody love, pure, bright, radiant, free, deep love flowing through. And with each breath, we brighten this love, breathing it up through our bodies, up through our hearts, up through our minds, up through our spirits, into the one that we are. And I'll invite us to take this love beating brighter each heartbeat and hold it in our hands together. You might rub your hands together, feeling the vibrations of that love and they're tangible. And it tingles this beautiful, bright, radiant love that we are. And with a deep breath in, perhaps it's a beautiful white light or a rainbow. We breathe it towards Rick. Love and brightness, blessings and beauty, sweetness and bounty. May all that inspires and delights your heart and inspiration shower you with sweetness today and throughout your year so it is we'll see thank you <laughs> so it is thank so you it is. So be it. that's beautiful rick i'm gonna have to sign so, off but this was wonderful thank you for inviting thank me. you it's amazing to meet all of you we'll talk thank soon you. love you love you too Bye. thank you um Catherine, would you like to say a few words? It's good to see you. Thank you. Um, I would just say happy birthday. And it's, it's amazing um, to look at the legacy of all that you've done and bringing all these people together who have their own lives and work and struggles. But in spite of that, we are all dedicated to making the world a better place. And I think that you've been a very beautiful leader from the very beginning, inspiring people and growing and growing and growing and growing. So I'm grateful to be a part of your family. I see this as your family in many ways, the extended family. So um, yeah, ha a happy birthday. And don't stop celebrating, just keep it going. Celebrate till next year this time and appreciate yourself because you. we all appreciate you. So Aww. happy birthday and thank you. I'm glad you're in my family. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, bye-bye. Okay, so um, let's see. Um, who else is on? Oh, Jack, we were going to talk about the store. Jack, there you are. Do you want to tell people about the store? Yeah, I was going to keep it short, but I think now, now I'm going to keep it even shorter. Okay. <laughs> but I think we should get it out there. Okay. Well, so anyway, hello, everyone. And uh, happy birthday, Rick. Thank you. And uh, I mean, it gives me great pleasure to announce to everyone that uh, we have a launch of a new online store, a store that we call the We Store, and which I often refer to as the uh, loving and caring alternative to Amazon. Now, the idea is like when most businesses or most organizations put together a business, 
they usually design it such that it funds their various projects and and activities and whatever internally and that's a good thing but uh i would like to um, point out that the difference with the we store is that the we store is actually designed to contribute to the worldwide effort of creating an economy that works for all so this is not a this is not a store that's just looking at taking care of itself or the, of its own uh, organization but it's a store that wants to make it easier to build a better economy and the way that we're working on doing that right now is to provide conscious businesses a easy and inexpensive way to have an online store presence and so that's that's where we're headed at and um my thinking is that it's kind of like putting the people on the planet before profits and as uh, rick might say transforming me to we now there's a lot more to this but um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to put some information in the chat as soon as i finish talking for those who are interested but just want to reiterate that this store is actually a project to create a better world and it needs a lot of assistance a lot of support from the various organizations and networks and friends and whatever that you have to make that happen so i'm just requesting that you give it some really deep thought and consider participating in the store project and i'm going to let it go at that and i'm going to put this information in the chat as soon as i get off here and i guess that's it except uh again happy birthday thank you thank you okay that sounds great uh thank you so um let's see and uh, just uh, maybe as we wind down a little bit um callum i see you joined would you like to say a few words it's good to see you um you're muted or maybe you're not able to speak at the moment um but um i see that john braden has been on for a while do you want to say a few <laughs> words, John? You have to unmute yourself. Unmute. Okay, Rick, 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 are you there? Are you there, Rick? Yes. Can you hear us? Now we Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Rick. Wow. Wow. <laughs> John and Claudia. Wow. We're in Jersey City here, okay? Wow. And on the Jersey City waterfront. You could see the Manhattan skyline over there. Oh, wow. And you might be able to see the Statue of Liberty, which is over there. I don't know if you can see it in the background. Yeah, but we see the background. I just want to give a little context of how I know Rick. Rick and I met 21 years ago at the Riverside Church when Michael Lerner had his conference there reimagining politics and society at the millennium a powerful conference organized by rick alfick and over the years rick you've had these wonderful groups i remember at moonstruck diner remember with the fem you would have those wonderful dialogues okay and after that we would have the movie nights remember totally. so you taught us how to talk about movies and wonderful things and then Oops, uh, Rick, share all these amazing yeah. time. You in a time of darkness, Rick, in our country, in a time of the threats against our democracy. You are a vital light. Somebody said it before. You are a bright light. And, and <laughs> now, 
breaking I up. I want to say bit, one. John. Can you hear me, Rick? Yeah. Can, can you hear us? A little bit, but go okay. Ahead. So Rick is many things to many people. But to Claudia and I, who have a television show on education, Rick is also our boss. Because <laughs> Rick of our TV show, Public Voice Salon, open education. Now, Derek, we were nominated for a prestigious prize. It's the, the equivalent of a Nobel Prize. In and if we win, it's $4 million. Four million dollars. Wow. It's the currently the most lucrative, lucrative prize in the world for education. Now, as our fiscal sponsor, Rick, you will get your cut. <laughs> you will get your four hundred thousand dollars. You get ten percent, okay? And we'll all go out and celebrate. And you deserve that and more. And when somebody said earlier that you were on Saturday Night Alive, I thought it was. You know, in a better world, you would be on Saturday Night Live. And that's the kind of better world we need to dream big about because yeah. we need to elevate this to a higher level. Our democracy is in trouble. Our world is in trouble. And you are a shining light. If, if, if you had been more popular years ago, I don't think we'd be in the mess that we He's doing a great job because yeah. um, with the war, is helping to maintain the earth in a better healthy way and make people more conscious to take care of the planet Earth. So hopefully with all your connections and people join to the group, we're gonna be able to, to take care of, of the of the planet. Yes. That's that's great. Uh, Claudia and, uh... it's it's so wonderful to see you, Claudia. <laughs> it's been a long time. Both of you it's been a long time. Yes. Long time, yes, yes. You look wonderful, Rick. You look <laughs> wonderful and happy. And hello to Sefi. And, uh, you know, yeah. all, hopefully we'll all be get together soon, you know? Yes. Exactly. Good night. Well, thank you okay. for sharing all that. And good luck. I hope you win. It, it, you <laughs> can change the world. That would be fabulous. I hope we have a, uh, a congratulations Zoom after you win. <laughs> so um, I see Connie is on. Would you like to say a few words, Connie? Sure, Rick. I was just saying it in the chat that it was, it's just been so much fun with all the creativity, the song and the poetry and and everything in the stories. It's just fun to get to know you better and your friends and just experience all this. So thank you. It's, it's been a lovely evening with you. And well, happy birthday, you. Rick. Thank you. You're a good man and all that you do for humanity is just phenomenal. And then your music is just great and we love you. Wow, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, who else is on that I see here? Paul Slatkis. You want to say a few words? Sure. Hi, Rick. Uh, congratulations. Happy and a healthy birthday to you. Uh, we've been good friends. I don't know. Long, long time. Maybe maybe 20 years. I don't know. Long time. Um, we've done some beautiful things together, nonviolent kinds of things and peace days and uh, a lot of your events and uh, it's been a big honor and been able to put some of our Peace Day party shows. Were you able to show a piece of that with Al? I saw Al's on here as well, Smith. Yes, uh, we, we did it. We finally did it. You got it on. OK, I that's put great. Ed, you to the, Ed uh, Al to the spotlight because it was your event that uh, Al uh, performed at and I sat in on keyboards at the uh, at Times Square and it's it's like a, a Herculean task, right? To, to do a major event every year at, in Times Square in New York City, uh, Manhattan, on, on the International Day of Peace, and you've been doing it. Well, I've been there with a lot of people, a lot of help. Al helped me a lot that year, and uh, I was really supportive, and I thank him for that. And uh, Al Bunsman and a lot of his friends and 
I've always had a lot of good people help me. And I see Thomas McGowan is on here. Uh, Thomas was one of our interns uh, from St. Francis. Um, he helped. We did laugh out loud. <laughs> <laughs> We've done a lot, you know, just been, been real fortunate and uh, we're you know, going to plan to do it again next year and uh, we'd like to do something for water. We're, we've been involved with water for a long time with the clear water and want to do something in that regard as well. And uh, so we just keep, keep creating content and uh, along with a lot of helpful people and talented people uh, making it all happen. So uh, I'm, just, I'm just a lucky guy that they'll come out and, uh, and one day we'll get even sponsors and then I can pay everybody. Amazing. And I can, feel, what, what I can get that pressure off of me because uh, <laughs> a massive amount of pressure to make these things happen, right? Because we're doing such good things. So happy birthday. Yeah, and and uh, you've yeah. been doing good news for decades, right? Good news. Uh, 23 years, since 1998. That's right. We, we celebrated our, our mutual 20th anniversary together. That's true with, with that guy, Andrew something. His name is Andrew. Andrew Kane, Kane, Kane. <laughs> yeah, with Andrew. We had a big party down there at the nice church in the village. That was a good thing, too. Yeah, we've had a lot of good times together. Andrew Kane, yeah. There's Andrew. Oh, there's Andrew. I saw. <laughs> it's all good. It's all Andrew, good. Did, I, did I meet you at that event? Say that again. I feel like I met Andrew at that event when we were at the church back in September 2018. I'm not sure, but maybe. Yeah, probably. Andrew, uh, he, he photographed it. He yeah, was I there was. doing the photography. Yes, you did, Tom. You must yes, I did. Because I was recording that event, and I'm just like, I was speaking to this guy. I'm like, yes, it was Andrew. Yeah, a lot of support. Uh, that's, a, that's the only way we've all made it for these 20 years years is that a lot of people are willing to come out and just come out for the for the cause in quotes and andrew did you want to say a few words before we finish up it was andrew andrew's here happy birthday to you <coughs> happy birthday, birthday to you Andy? happy birthday rick and you do a mustache okay too many more. Thank you. I'm outside, so it's not good reception, probably. But it's good. I uh, thank you for joining. So, um, and uh, Callum, I don't know if you can hear me, but if you want to say a few words, that would be great. Yep. Can you hear me? Yeah. Now we hear you. Yeah. Can you put your video on? Yeah. yeah. Okay, perfect. Sorry, I was multitasking and doing homework while listening to the birthday party. Um, <laughs> been a pleasure working with we um, for the last year and a half. Um, and it's always great working with you, Rick. Um, so happy birthday. And I hope you enjoyed today. I know it was a nice day here in New Jersey. So hopefully it was nice over in New York. Right, as if I got out. <laughs> Uh, but thank you. I just want to say thank you so much, Callum, for everything that you've done, especially during 11 Days of Global Unity, um, with all the tech support that you helped all, everybody with their panels and everything, and all the different things you've been doing with um, your, your position as human resources director. You are a human resource yourself. So Thank you. So thank you for, for everything and, and even doing that uh, despite having some health challenges yourself, uh, you don't even think about it. You just keep going forward and, it, and it's really great working with you. So thank you. Thank you. So um, I think uh, maybe the, the last person <clears throat> Before we finish up, Angel, would you like to say a few words? And while 
Oh, yes. So Angel, I just have to say, it's kind of the same thing I was saying with Callum. And Angel has been taking care of everything, not just tech stuff, but every single one of the 11 campaigns. She has produced Trends Magazine and 11 Days of Global Unity. You're, you're, you are the Chief Operating Officer for We The World. Just a hand for Angel. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, and thank Callum. you. Definitely cannot do it without the team, that's for sure. Um, it does take more than one person. And I think Rick learned that the hard way over the years. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm going to spotlight. Okay, I screwed up the spotlight here, but keep, keep talking. I'll get you back. I don't know what else to say. You're just <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can, you can say whatever you want. But uh, anyway, thank you. Thank you for everything that you've been doing. And we want to send uh, our love and prayers and blessings and everything to your husband who's who has some ch health challenges at the moment. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah. So we send you and Derek love, healing wishes and everything. And it's kind of the same like uh, with Callum, you, you've had some health challenges and it doesn't phase you. You just keep going. And, you know, I well, guess we is my family. We has been my family for several years now. And it's, believe it or not, it's my sanity right now. So anything <laughs> I can do in we saves me from <laughs> my own personal chaos that seems to be happening this past year or so. so. Wow. That's so wonderful. Thank you. So um, let, let me uh, go back to the, uh, uh, okay, who else is on here, Jenna? Jenna, did you want to say anything? And maybe maybe what, uh, what you say can bring us to a close? Would that work for you, Jenna? What an honor. Yeah. What an honor, Rick. Um, when you played your three note challenge, E, F, and G, <laughs> uh, I really teared up at that. We have really? to keep that somehow, and you probably don't remember exactly what you played, so. But we did record it. But it's so. recorded. <laughs> yeah. And and I want to express appreciation to you, Jenna, as well for the incredible can hear, work I think that I'm you've been doing. Rick's lips that he can hear me. <laughs> okay. No, I want to express uh, gratitude to you for your work in bringing in so many wonderful people from around the world to work with We The World. I'm bringing in more even. <laughs> Amazing. Wait until you see them. <laughs> wow. But yes, what what an honor it is to, to know you and Angel and Callum and Shannon Crossbear and Sue and Heidi and and Andrew and Dr. Marty C. And I mean, I'm leaving out names and I don't mean to, but what an honor. Wow. Well, thank you. Uh, we couldn't do this without you. So thank you, Jenna. I mean, we can't really, uh, we can't do we the world without everybody who's working with us. I mean, it's just, I guess that's the definition of we, right? Well, Rick, you, you have definitely found dedicated people. So that's an homage to you. Well, thank you. 
Well, this has been really amazing. Um, thank you all so much. And um, for some of us, I guess we'll go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been, it's been an amazing evening. <laughs> just, just incredible. So many wonderful folks who joined us and Ben from Australia was on. So we had people in all different parts of the okay. world. You deserve it. Thank you. Well, to be continued, right? Sefi, yeah. did you want to say anything before we finish up? I just you think you're wonderful. I just think you're wonderful. I think we the world's wonderful. I think you've got the greatest team I've ever, ever had the pleasure of meeting. Um, and it's it's just wonderful. So that's all I have to say. <laughs> okay. Well, we thank love Seppi. Yay. We love <laughs> yeah, hi, Seppi. I didn't say hello to her. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. As we say, until next time. That's right. Until next time. This is great. All right. To be continued, right? I'm right. going to try to, don't forget to save the chat. Okay. Happy okay. birthday, Rick. Thank you. Happy <laughs> birthday to me, but happy birthday <laughs> to we. We. <laughs> this birthday is really about we. It's not really about me. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Oh. So okay. Have a good night. Bye bye. 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 Bye b